Peace, people. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 47. Y'all know what it is. Feel our champ of this shit. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Hit that like button. And if you want to donate to the channel, I'm going to pin the, com the cash app in the comments. Usually, uh, I don't really stick to one thing with, with, with this show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I might be doing like some news on hip-hop. I might take you through the city, through Orlando, and to the hoods out here. Let you see some things out here. Far how the city go. Um, sometimes I'll do the jewelry of the day, which what I I'm, that's what I'm gonna do today. Jewelry of the day. Uh, last one I did was uh, Sambo versus Uncle Tom. Was a lot of people be calling people Uncle Toms and don't really know the history got switched up in that. You know, and you calling people Uncle Toms like they sellouts when he was never a sellout. If, if you ain't watched that video, go through my channel. You'll find it. It's there. But today, my jewelry of the day is to my hero, one of my heroes. Um, her name is Lolita Lebron. She was a revolutionary. A lot of y'all know I'm on my revolutionary shit. A lot of my tattoos are revolutionary. People from the islands, from Puerto Rico. Um... You know, I got Machetero tattoos, the Ejército Popular Borinqua, Macheteros. I got revolutionary tattoo across my stomach. You know what I'm saying? I got the original Puerto Rican flag, which is the Grito de Laure. I got, I'm, on, I'm on all that, you know what I'm saying? And Lolita Lebron, she's my, one of my heroes, like one of my most, you know what I'm saying? Uh, number one heroes, I say that. You know, she made she makes you proud to be a Puerto Rican, and uh, kind of give you an understanding of why we so proud of our flags and why we why we are the way we are. So Lolita Lebron, she went from Puerto Rico, and they migrated. She migrated to New York, and she joined the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party over there in New York. And um, you know, we had uh, political prisoners at the time and all this and that. And Pedro Campos, they was always in contact. He was locked up already. He was in contact with her through letters and stuff like that. And they sent him on a mission. He sent them on a mission. It was a few missions to come against the United States government for the liberation of Puerto Rico. And out of all the missions... He really didn't send her on that mission. He just, she was like the messenger, but she put herself on that mission. And she just picked one mission. And that was to go to the House of Representatives. They went to the White House. And um, they took care of some business over there. So we're going to get to that. So she goes, she, while she's in New York, she gets a letter. She put everybody together. She put the squad together. It, it was uh, March 1st, 1954, when they got there to... Uh, Washington D.C. So when they get there, one of the other members is her. And five is five people all together. One of the other members that was with her was like, "Yo, we should leave this for tomorrow, cause it's raining. It's late. We just got here." And being who she was, she told him, "Well, yo ando sola, so I walk alone." And she took off walking towards the White House. Now, mind you, you got this female take off walking, talking about she gonna do this by herself. So the dudes is looking at her like, so they follow her, like, you know, what's up? Then we out. We ain't got no choice. They go into the House of Representatives while there's a meeting going on. And the meeting had to do with, like, with other, like, like the economies in Mexico and other national problems with. Latin countries and stuff like that. So when they walk in to the House of Senate, the, rep the representatives, they sit down. And they're waiting while they're talking. They're waiting while they're talking. And then Lolita gives a, sin a signal. They go and they do a Lord's Prayer. They do a prayer before anything. Well, after they do the prayer, she unhurls the Puerto Rican flag and says, Que vive Puerto Rico Libre. Don't live Puerto Rico free because they're fighting for the independence of Puerto Rico. Saying the United States is invading 
Puerto Rico. So when she does that and unfurls the flag, they start shooting. They shot five congressmen. So she goes to jail for that. They get arrested there and everything. When they get arrested, she says she shot in the air. She, she, she was like, I ain't come here to kill nobody. I came here to die for my country, for the freedom of my country. And, you know, they, they try to, uh, they say, oh, if you apologize, you know, they would have, they would have, like, let her go and things of that nature on parole and stuff like that. And she was like, I'll never apologize for fighting for the freedom of my country. And if you let me out, I'm going to do it again. You know, she never tried to sign up for parole. She wasn't on none of that. They, they kind, of, kind of forced her to do that. And um, I believe in 1979 it was, that's when President Jimmy Carter pardoned all, the whole little crew. And... um. You know, he parted them and let them go. So they went back to Puerto Rico. And when they got to Puerto Rico, you know, they was embraced by the people. But the governor and all that, they, they wasn't really, they, they was like, you letting them go, you supporting terrorism. Because they, they, they got charged with overthrowing the United States government. They got charged with attempted murders. They got charged with a whole lot of stuff, you know, like terrorist stuff. Fighting for the freedom of Puerto Rico. And, um... So when they get to the island, you know, she's, she's an older lady now and all that. But she's deceased now, but I'm talking about the time. She, uh, they got an island called Vieques. And, I, and, the, and the island of Vieques, you have the U.S. Navy there. And they're testing bombs in the water. Mind you, the island makes money off of these animals and, you know, these fish and shrimps and crabs and lobsters. You know, because they're, they're an island. They're by the water. So while she, uh, excuse me, excuse me, while she... When she gets over there, they fighting for to get the U.S. Navy out of Vieques. So she ends up going to jail for like three months, I think, over there for that. Three months, I believe it was. I might be wrong, but something like that. They end up getting locked up, all of them, people that was protesting and all that stuff. While she's incarcerated, the U.S. Navy leaves Vieques and turns over the property back to Puerto Rico. She's definitely a warrior. She's a hero, always be one of my heroes. Um, she died August 1st in two, 2010. I was in prison, I remember when she died. I was sad as hell. I still wanna get a portrait of her tatted on me. I haven't done that, but I still got a little bit of room here and there, and I'm going to do that. Um, you know, she said she was so proud. She got so many awards from different countries and different places uh, throughout Latin America because of them fighting for the liberation of Puerto Rico. And she was so proud to, even though she went to jail at that time, that she played that major role in that. And uh, it made me proud, made you know, to be a Puerto Rican. And even while she was in trial, they was using the flag as evidence that she threw, and they was mistreating the flag, and she was fighting with her lawyer like. Why y'all disrespecting my flag? And she was just, she was about her issues, man. She was about her people, you know. And uh, that's why I get that revolutionary side from. I go back in my history of my people. And it's just something that I'm proud of and something that I like to share and talk about. I'm going to do some more videos about different people. And uh, I'm going to talk about the, the attempted assassination of President Truman, uh, which was also part of what these attacks that she eliminated. Because it was like five different attacks she eliminated and just focused on that one. But that President Truman assassination attempt was also one of them. Uh, we lost two soldiers in that, you know. But that's another video. But I just wanted to share with y'all my hero, Lolita Lebron. She be putting it down. She did put it down. And I think she's a great example, you know. And, and there's a lot of things that they don't teach in school about... Uh, history you know what i'm saying they give you his story but they don't really teach you the truth you know they don't they, they you even black history you get one month you know or whatever they don't and the spanish you don't even we don't got a month you know so i think it's important that we know our heritage our people and what we fought for the the process of the puerto rican flags that got changed the name of the puerto rico that got changed because the government united states government was in there it was illegal for us to fly our flag for 10 years. We couldn't fly the Puerto Rican flag. It was a felony. We had to fly the American flag. And they changed the spelling of Puerto Rico to Porto, P-O-R-T-O. And, you know, all this stuff that our people was fighting for, 
to get the island. Really, they don't want the U.S. government there, but we got the flag back. We got the proper spelling back of Puerto Rico. And uh, we got the U.S. Navy out of Vieques. And, you know, it's just a fight that continues to go on. And I think it's a great example for people coming from the island, people that's in position of power from the island, like the rappers and the artists out there, like for them to take heed and go. A lot of people don't even know about this story. A lot of people like I talk to that are from the island, they, and I'm from New York originally, but I'm a Floridian, bro. I've been in Florida forever. But the people that come straight from the island, a lot of these kids don't know this history of what's going on. They don't even know what the first Puerto Rican flag looks like. You know, so being from there and not knowing that is kind of crazy to me. So I think it should be something that we know and we should teach and uh, embrace, you know. The, the Pedro Campos, the whole, you know what I'm saying, Lolita Lebrons, the whole, the whole Puerto Rican nationalist movement. You know, it goes from PR to New York. And um, little by little, I'm going to do the jewelry of the day. That's what I call this little episode, the jewelry of the day. And I'm going to drop different stories about the Puerto Rican fight in New York, Puerto Rico, and against the United States government. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Zulu King Street fan, 407. Peace.